Good morning, folks. You're watching a new sunspot group crest over the northeastern limb of our star. We've got a rise in solar flares, storm alerts, water on the moon, and more. So let's get right to it over at spaceweathernews.com. Over the last 24 hours, we don't see much happening in the Earth-facing longitudes, but over on the left side, the active region we mentioned already is beginning to fire, crackling with some increased solar flare activity. And while it hasn't been significant thus far, we are creeping up into C-class baseline territory, so M-class solar flares are now very possible from the incoming group. It is obviously complex, with numerous umbra, but we will need another 24 hours to see enough for full magnetic analysis. Although the solar wind has been very quiet and is calming further, along with geomagnetic instability, we could see that intensification here in the coming day or so from the equatorial coronal hole departing to the right, likely to impact our planet. But what probably won't is the filament that lifted up and erupted yesterday. Not a single satellite shows ejecta heading our way. NASA's Enlil spiral shows a small burst that will miss Earth. That's the wave you see sweeping out towards the 4 o'clock position. And NOAA's Enlil spiral shows absolutely nothing at all. So folks, there are subsurface oceans on Pluto and numerous moons of Jupiter and Saturn. There is water in the atmospheres of all our gas planets within sunspots, on asteroids, and on Mars. Now we take a look at lunar craters and find regions where water is likely to exist on the surface of our moon. Excellent visualization from Goddard SVS here. And if you want to know more about water in space, the free Star Water series can be found at suspiciousobservers.org slash starwater. Strongest storm on the planet right now is just south of Mexico. Set to make landfall today is a tropical depression, bringing high waves, high wind, major rainfall, and surely a cleanup afterwards as it's been a while since we had a direct hit at that coastline. Meanwhile, in the U.S. tonight, it's the southeastern states taking the convergence line with a small region having high chances of strong storm activity. Folks, in just under four weeks, I'll be presenting the value of our community to the space weather world at the National Space Weather Conference. You are all welcome to join me. Just send an email to get the details. Then, after the EU conference in Phoenix this August, all eyes come back to the high desert where Observing the Frontier 2018 will take place President's Day weekend next year. From the sun, earthquakes, space effect on human health to the future of this planet and exactly what is on our plate in the years ahead, we hope to see you there. We have the Planetary Geometry Deeper Look for June coming up in a few hours over at suspiciousobservers.org. Again, if you haven't seen Star Water, just a reminder, it is free and utterly worth your time. We've got the rest of the world's weather and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.